Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. This one is on the Contour HD 1080p wearable camcorder. This is full 1080p. There's a couple of security seals. I'll carefully cut those. Now the camera actually slides right out, so don't tip it upside down because it will just fall right out. Just slide it out like so. Wow, look at that. Quite nice. I think we either, yeah, this piece is on the front here. Take that off and then slide it forward. And here we have the camcorder. Let's see what else is included. User's manual. USB cable. Battery. Lens cap or cover. And a couple of mounts. This product supports a number of resolutions. 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. 960p, which is a resolution of 1280 by 960 at 30 frames per second. 720p, which is a resolution of 1280 by 720. But at this particular resolution, it supports 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. You can also go lower than that, but why would you really? But it does support WVGA at a resolution of 848 by 480 at 60 frames per second. Now record time will vary depending upon the resolution and also the size of micro SD card that you have in this. Now this particular model comes with a two gigabyte micro SD card. That's not very large, you know, if you're at 1080p for an extended period of time. So I would recommend going a little higher than that, probably going uh, to an eight or 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Now this will not accept a micro SD card larger than 16 gigabytes, at least that is what's on the box and in the manual. So possibly with a firmware update, you might be able to go even higher than that, but don't take my word on that. It says that it will only accept up to a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, a lot of helmet cams look rather big and bulky and they stand out. This one is rather sleek. The overall build quality is exceptional. It has this brushed aluminum look all black other sides pretty much the same at the front is the lens now you can rotate this lens either left or right and this is fantastic because sometimes well you won't have it set up perfectly level well you can do so by this rotating lens here's the record status led at the top is the record button just flip it forward to record and it has this rubbery texture to it so you'll have no problem using this with like thick gloves on or even with your finger it works quite well. At the back is the battery status LED as well as a memory status LED and here's the power button. Now the back on this pops open. To do so just push up here at the bottom and flip it down. Inside is a red LED charge indicator. Here's the USB port. Use the included USB cable, connect it from here into the computer's USB port and update the firmware first. Can't stress that enough. If you want the camera to work properly, make sure that it's updated. Now you can use this cable also to transfer files uh, from the camcorder onto the computer system for editing and you also use this cable for charging the battery. There's a high low switch. This is for high resolution and low resolution. And by the way, that can be customized within the software. Pretty neat actually. And here's the micro SD card. They include a two gigabyte one, but you can install one up to 16 gigabytes. Just push in, pull it out. And if you want to put another one in, you can just push it in like so. Now I've installed the battery already, but when you install the battery, make sure you do positive to positive, push it in and then just kind of flip this battery lever down all the way. When you first turn the camcorder on, 
or if it's on and you press the power button or if it's on and press the power button while it's recording a couple of LEDs will show at the front. These are for lining the camera up basically so it's horizontal so when you have the camcorder attached to your helmet or whatever press this line it up and then you're ready to go. The mounting system works extremely well. They have a base mount. This gets attached to the camcorder. It just simply slides on either side of the camera and I'll do that right now. Slide it in, we'll snap into place. These two mounts are included. You can buy many many more. This is a flat surface mount and this one a goggle mount. To mount the flat surface mount make sure that the surface you're putting this on is flat and clean. I would recommend cleaning it with alcohol but make sure that it's dry before you attach it. You can remove this backing from the adhesive and then stick it to the surface. Press firmly and you know kind of like wait overnight if you want to. I'd recommend doing that. Now to attach this once this is on a surface just simply push the camera onto it and you can do this it will snap into place but you can really do this at any angle and to remove it just kind of give it a quick yank and it will come off. Now the goggle mount should be attached to the goggles first so this would basically go through the goggle band that will be around your head or another band that doesn't necessarily have to be around your head then all you would need to do is angle this again if you need to adjust the angle you can do so there's a little tab here just kind of slide it in the bottom first and then pop it into place it will not move around if you want to remove it just kind of pull on this tab. Now note this little strap. Both of these come with that and you can attach that once you've attached the mount if you want to. This is the software that is included and actually I would recommend downloading the newest version from their website. Now if you want to configure the camera you can just select the camera and then configure camera. You've got a few different options here. You can set the video quality, low, medium, or high. The lighting can be adjusted, metering conditions, and you also have manual settings as well. And the audio can be a change, the mic sensitivity. I find 40 is good. You know, if you want it more sensitive, just crank it all the way up. You can also adjust the high switch and the low switch. So that's on the camera itself. And I have full HD 1080p at 30 frames per second for the high and for the low I have action at 3D 720p and that's at 60 frames per second. And you just, you know, if you want to make the changes, you can do so in here and then apply. And when you yank the camera, uh, out of the computer system it will just give you a confirmation beat that it has changed. And I'm going to do that right now actually. I'm going to set the quality to high and say apply and then done. It'll give you a notification here. You just listen for the beep. There you go. It's changed. Say okay. And I can go back in again. So you just do that for any of the other changes that you want to make. You can also set the camera time. This is very important. I recommend doing that, of course, at the beginning. And all kinds of other options. Many of these I won't go through, but you know, it shows you the library events, places, flag, the recent stuff, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's see what this thing can do. Oh no, heading for the tree. That'd be very oh look.
Okay, go. Okay. Now these are the two helmets that I used to capture the video. One of them is a mountain bike helmet, the other one a motorcycle helmet. This one, I had to modify the goggle mount to get it to work on top, use a couple of cable ties, and it does work very well. I'll show you how it kind of installs here at the top like so, points down, works extremely well. Also on the motorcycle helmet, just mounted the surface mount on the visor itself that's the flattest part of the helmet everywhere else is kind of like you know rounded so it doesn't work very well at all so i mounted it there the only thing is with this is you got to keep the visor down or you know just up a smidgen and to be honest i have it that way most of the time anyway because otherwise you know there's bugs and hornets getting inside the helmet and all that kind of stuff but very simple you just attach it right here push in and away you go. Now I always use the security cable no matter what the camcorder is attached to because you never know it could come out of the mount or the whole thing could come off. If that happens and you do not have it secured you're going to lose the camera or if you don't lose it it's probably going to be damaged. If you were in the market for a helmet cam and it has to be affordable look fantastic because this does look very sleek and slender and it will not stand out that much because you know most other helmet cams do and that's a concern for some people for others it doesn't matter. It also has fantastic build quality and jam packed full of excellent features. It is as well very easy to use. Now in the short time that I have been able to use this and I will be using it a lot more in the future the only downside to this is the microphone. But that can be fixed if you're into modding things or into soldering. You can take it apart, you can replace the internal mic, you can also wire in an external mic if you want to. Another option is to get a voice recorder. But overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.